morning. So I've just finished doing my makeup. Finally actually did my face. It's pretty basic, but I wanted to walk you through what I bring in my travel makeup bag and also what I have on my face today. So I'm gonna go through the bare essentials and then also everything I brought, which is probably a little more than I needed. The lighting here is not ideal, but I think we can work with it. So what I have on my face today, I really like to bring the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette because it has a lot of your most basic neutral shades and it, you can really create a lot of different eye looks with this palette. I also like it because it has a few shades that work really well for me as brow colors. So today I skipped my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow and I used this shade right here on my brows today. So that's a good option if you're traveling and you don't want to bring too much makeup. Bring an eyeshadow palette that has a color in it that will be appropriate for your brows. For foundation, I'm using my Cogendo Aqua Foundation. Pretty basic, but it definitely gets the job done. It's a good idea to bring a foundation that is buildable, so you can wear a light coating if you just want a sheer look, and you can also build it up if you want to wear a heavier makeup for nighttime. Next up, I brought my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is an all-around good concealer. It's a good idea to pick a color that you can highlight under your eyes with, but also a color that's not too bright so you can use it to cover spots. I have a mosquito bite on my face. Yes, a mosquito bite on my face. Ugh. So I used this Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light to cover that. For bronzer and contour, I brought my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. This works really well for me. I can contour with this easily, and it's my current favorite. It also comes in a small compact, which is good. For traveling, I really like these mini NARS blushes. I have a couple of these. This is NARS blush in Gulu. These are perfect travel size blushes. For highlight, I'm using my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in the shade Moonlight. This is a great product to bring because it's multi-purpose. You can mix a drop in with your foundation, you can dab it on your cheekbones as highlight, and I used it for my cheekbone highlight and also my inner corner highlight today. It's good to bring a product that is multi-use when you're traveling. I also use my Kat Von D Trooper Liner today. Basic eyeliner pen, liquid liner pen, always good to have. And my brow gel. Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is a must-have for me. And for lips, I used my Marc Jacobs Lipstick in Role Play. This is a sheer nude lipstick. This is nice because you don't need lip liner to draw on and be perfect. And it's not a liquid lipstick, which sometimes can take a little extra time and needs to be touched up. This is pretty easy to just throw on and you can touch it up throughout the day, but it also fades evenly if you decide you don't want to spend your day touching up your makeup. And that's all I have on my face today. I'll go through the brushes I brought as well. I use my Beauty Blender. Um, I use three blending brushes. One is from Morphe, two are Hakuhodo. I use a little angled brush. My favorite eyebrow brush is the Must Have Angled Liner Brush from Sephora. A Morphe MB35 brush for my blush. And then this Kala bronzer brush for my bronzer. And the Smith 220 brush for my under eye. And that was enough brushes for me for this look today. You can obviously bring more. So those are all my essential travel makeup items. And I did bring a bunch of other makeup, which I will show you now. This is not essential. This is what I brought in case I needed to film some looks for my channel. So the rest is all extra. I brought my Viseart palettes. These are two of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I also brought my Lorac Pro palette and my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I brought my NARS Translucent Crystal Pressed Powder as well as my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I brought two primers, my NARS Radiance Enhancing Primer. This is like a kind of a shimmery primer. And then I brought my Benefit Professional Travel Size matte primer. I also brought my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N40. I like to mix these with a drop of sunscreen or uh, moisturizer. And also my Argan Oil. I also like to mix these two for a kind of dewy foundation, although it's a little too dark for me right now. For brows, I brought my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow in Ash. 
and my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in taupe. I also brought my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. This one's a little bit lighter than the light shade. And I brought my RCMA Contour Palette. For mascaras, I brought one waterproof. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I also brought my Marc Jacobs, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir mascara. Oh, and my Benefit Roller Lash Travel Size Mini Mascara. Mini products or sample size items are obviously great to bring traveling. For lips, I brought three different lip shades. Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Bow and Arrow. My NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in... What shade are you? In Soft Spoken, a recent favorite. And my Tardis Lip Paint in Namaste. I also brought a red lip option. This is the NARS... NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Cruella and the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Monte Carlo. I brought my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot for an eye primer, two liners, one black eyeliner and one brown. This is the Ardency Inliner and the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Whiskey. I also brought my Bobbi Brown Gel Liner, my Anastasia Eyeshadow Quad that I made myself from Single Shadows at Sephora. A Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade Sand. I really like foundation sticks for traveling. They're really handy because you can just touch up on the go. And you don't have to worry about them spilling. And lastly, I brought a small selection of eyelashes, although I haven't worn any yet. I got this little eyelash travel case from Amazon. I can link that down below if anyone is interested. Super cute, super handy. And of course my eyelash glue and tweezers. For glue, I brought the Add a Lash Latex Free Lash Glue, which is my current favorite. And I tried to look it up so I could link it for you guys down below, but I think they're sold out on Amazon, but I'll check again. And I brought my Cinema Secrets Professional Makeup Brush Cleaner for cleaning my brushes. And that's it. That's everything I brought for me for two weeks away from home. Obviously, what kind of makeup you'll bring will depend on where you're going and what kind of trip you're going on. I'm just visiting family and doing a lot of outdoor activities, so there's not a lot of opportunity to do a full face of makeup while I'm here. So I kind of packed with that in mind. Obviously, if you're going to a big city where you'll be going out a lot or going to fancy dinners or, or things like that, then you'll want to pack extra makeup for those types of looks. But yeah, that's all I have for now. birthday present for my dad. Uh, I think we're gonna go to West Marine because if you've been watching the vlogs, you'll know that he likes boating. Success at West Marine. I got my dad a waterproof Bluetooth speaker. We're going for a quick sail with our neighbors on their boat. sale. It was really fun. Uh, my neighbor restored an old 1964 Pearson Ensign. Really fun little boat for a quick sail. And now we're headed down for a swim. Beautiful swim. Practicing my Olympic strokes. Totally getting there. My sister Fiona made some chocolate chip cookies. I think the recipe is from the New York Times. They've been sitting with the dough ready in the fridge for like a couple days, which is part of the recipe. And I just threw a couple in the oven and they look amazing. Ooh, delicious. 
yum